So I said to old B, you want your barroom tiled? Get out of my way. I will deliver it tiled. I'll solve this problem. Go and watch your TV. They have done today. They've taken out the forms on this one. What they forwarded yesterday. Matug, mag-aya, gyapon. So they've done a good job, and that's one look how solid is the beam. So the law is sucking. I told old Lito he can just sip, so he's relaxed. So the weather is not really very good. You can see it's still gloomy and we are still on rainy season. Gloomy and you can see the rain clouds coming up ahead. That would be better if it's just in the late afternoon or even the evening. And so it's good for my plants but you know not for construction work but right now they're just making the beams so it's fine so i have old lito sifting his sand so he won't be so stressed out with this um making forms <laughs> So old the old bee has made has been left here to supervise yesterday and I think he done a good job but like a scarecrow just by the presence because he don't really order them, them about like I do. Huh? Huh? So we have a few gravel here that the loy is sacking. Black <laughs> this is where we stuck our gravel and sand now as of the moment the gravel was there because the Lloyd decided to have the new one that they bought but it's actually over here that we stuck it in and now old Lito will be sifting sand ready for his um finishing I mean rendering and did you see this one? These are a dried cow skin. Baka na no? Dried cow skin that they dry up. But um, because before I was helping all the farmers of animals here, that I used to get, you know, the organization of those from Turkey. They contact me and wants to buy turkeys, uh, not turkeys, cows for their consumption and for their festival here in Cebu City. So I contact all the farmers and I help some of the farmers sell it better price than the market that they're, you know, they're the one that buys around here bringing their, bringing their own bringing their own vehicles and so instead of the those buyers be profiting the actual farmer is both profiting so and old lito is the one who's organizing it so he got like a share of the profit like if the farmer selling it at 10 we told him to sell it at 
12 so he got 10 two grand more and then a grand for Julito and Arlene because they will be the one killing the cow after they have made ceremony on the cow so those are the because what the turkey people used to do is just take out the parts that they like and leave everything after they had made ceremony like the halal way that they do it and those are the skin that's left there because I stopped doing it because they have already left the country and we have I think I we have sold to them over a hundred cows around here and then they left the country and so we stopped doing it as well I'm going down to the city right now to sort out some documentation of some land processing that I'm working on and so it won't take long because it's just some sort of signature and the filing and the calculation at the same time I will be meeting the order of old B from Lazada because he said that he can't carry it up since it's four big parcels so I told him a time so as I pass by that area I could just pick it up so this is my life here in the Philippines I'm sorting most of the things I want old B to be relaxed and stress-free I'm the one who brought him over to the Philippines of which I said to him I know the ins and outs here so it will help you relax and I'll sort most of the things here so you just sit back and relax so but when the first time we were here he can't switch off you know he's been working hard all those years and then retired at the age of 40 it's hard for him to switch off but have you know you notice it yesterday that he don't get so work up that the workers are doing not the western ways but this and that and that's the way that's why i want him to share with you all the experiences that he has here retiring in the philippines and i think i have convinced him since i opened a new channel unmonetized so there is no um saying that he's doing it for monetization purposes you know so it will be on my unmonetized channel that he will be sharing with you his experiences here and I just had a call from my person there inside uh, BAR that my documents are is now ready to go and just need some sort of authentication certifications and yeah that's the one I'm gonna sort now and then that's quick and then I'll go and sort my stuff so that's why I advising you if you retire in the Philippines make your wife take the lead what I mean is it's different when a foreigner is the one doing the processing and the Filipinos usually knows the those what I call about hidden protocols like me I already know I know it's bad oh crap corruption but it exists if you want things done fast it exists and so I got people that I could contact in some of the different government agency that I'm working on so I don't have to be the one doing the queuing up doing that getting this getting that because you know like someone said government are there to waste our time but with my personal taxes I purposely do it myself because I want it all the documents on it and all that I want to be the one personally handling it when it comes to my personal stuff that's why I said to my some of my got emails from people asking me different stuff but then they want to oh I want to hire your services no I only work for myself because I know how hard it is to prop to process documentations how it takes up so much of your time 
So here, you've seen this familiar rural road I'm going through all the time and someone's complaining about it, but what can I do? This is where I live. And oh, the roads there are very narrow. Will you donate to make it wider or you just moan about it? This is the, the roads here. So I'll just turn this off because this is usually where I meet those big trucks. I now arrive here in Pitos because this is where our marketplace is. I didn't go to the shortcut that I have because a Habal Habal driver told me there's a lot of falling debris on the road in one part of that shortcut. So it's safer for me to go this way. They said and of course the one that give you a tip you give them 20 pesos I mean things like that helps I mean info wise and all that because I didn't ask for it he just plugged me and then uh, tell me that there's loads of debris there mom don't go there and that's just uh, this is for your cigarette so I have to go this way I know it's always clogged up here during certain hours and also another thing that you are up against here is the 10 wheeler trucks now this is where it's very really densely populated around Pitos because this is one of the main town before the mountain barangays of the north which is us the Pulang Bato, Guba Agsungot, Kampinokot and nine more I cannot memorize but this is our main one of our main town so there was a proposal that you know in the right side of the road they're, they all going to be paid to make the road wider but I don't know when it's gonna happen and here in Talamban is where you find most of the high-end subdivision just newly developing like this Privea Hills next to the so next to here across was Cebu International School there on the right side and further up will be another high-end subdivision Pristina North and even beside both side of the road here you can see different subdivision being developed that's Metropolis this one here is Lorville Heights and next to it another one the 888 Breeze Place so there's a lot of subdivisions around here that now you can see why it's, it's so traffic it's so traffic like especially during rush hours rush hours four or five o'clock and in the morning seven to eight but when I used to do the school run when my daughter was still young doing the school run uh, I have to leave home about six o'clock so the poor girl will have to wake up at five I shower her at night so we won't have to shower in the morning then uh, in the morning oh she gotta have to take her breakfast and have to brush her teeth inside the school so just to get that time for the rush hour is so traffic and seldom we got late but it does happen but come on because this is caused by this Toyota Avanza so all the rubbish that's collected from the city it's going to the landfill that we have there it's a garbage area in one mountain I'll take a visit on it one one day and you will have an idea and also there's another info around here in Cebu City maybe you're wondering where we are dumping the garbage here in Cebu City it's actually in one of those big valleys up on one of the mountain barangays so this is Bakayan Road I'll turn off because I'm gonna call the Lazada driver so this is the um, Lazada person that's meeting me about 7,000 pesos worth so I'm here in you're looking at Pristina North 
Pristina North is one of our high-end high subdivision here in Cebu City. So you can see how nice it is here. This is one of our high-end, like I said, very expensive subdivision if you live here. I can't get in because it's very strict in there. But you can see the surroundings and the ambience. That how well manicured, how strict it must be for the resident there to live there. It's raining hard here again in Cebu. So they cannot pour those beams that they have made forms with. So what I have have them doing now is to tile the bar of Old B. I know Old B is saying about putting wooden floors, but I see the problems with wooden floors, the scratch and all that. You have you'll be having double expense. And with tiles once it's, once it's done, it's got long-lasting life than a wooden floor. Wooden floors can be on bedrooms, not on area where there's a lot of traffic. I mean, that's my opinion because my house where I grow up, we all have wooden floors. And it scratch, it cracks, and then we just keep on sanding it. And this, those are like thick wooden floors and planks because it's that's what we bought to make a house and uh, in the community where I grow up. But my concern is there's hollowness. There's cracks in some of the screening that Janelle has done. And also, when I knock on the, there's hollowness on it. So my solution is chip it all off, chip it all off so I can be sure that it won't be done again. So I said to old B, you want your barroom tiled, get out of my way, I will deliver it tiled, I'll solve this problem, go and watch your TV. Because this one, this, you can see this little area, I have the floor been chipped and taken off so this is how it's gonna be I let them chip it off labor is cheap then the whole materials of a wooden floor be changed but this one they can chip it the older they want and once it's done it's done properly it's been raining like this every afternoon for a week now so it's good for my plants but bad for my construction so that's why I had to make a compromise to have an indoor job when it's raining so there's a grot there I'll just wait for it to be why is this yellow? is it dehydrated? It's been raining all the time. So, like I said, I will take care of my orchids. They're now start to grow back again. I've been spraying them with vitamins and once a week. And root growers once a week. So, next week will be root grower. And the other week will be plant vitamins. So, until... They're okay. I'm gonna put some um, furniture there, cement for the dogs when the roof is over so they can lie in there. So it's getting nicer. But I had that problem with a hollow floor inside my storeroom. Now, inside the bar. So I let them start chipping it off so we can solve it. So this is the problem now because it's hollow inside. Look how it's easily come off. This is the tile adhesive that was left. The one that we take it out before is the tiles only and then we smoothen it all out. Leaving this, the tile adhesive part that was where the 
tiles will stick on and look how hollow it is. So, to solve it all off, we, Junelle was recommending that we have to take it all off and I think I agree. I want it all done once and for all. I don't like the wooden roof, a uh, wooden floor because of the prone to scratching and dated. What if it's not on freaking, uh, it's not on style anymore? So that's the one that we have to do. So you can see here, you can even hear the thunder. You can't even see the view anymore because we're all covered in fog. It's like this for over a week now here in the Philippines. Cebu, Philippines mainly raining in the afternoon. So I gotta have to tell Old B, shelled out your floor plan of having wooden or bamboo flooring. I don't like it because it's not long lasting. It's only good for bedroom when you're in, it's not a traffic area. And also if the problem is the hollow, I'll have them all chipping out those things to make it, to, I'll solve it. So that's it. The problem now is get out of the way. I'll deliver the floor when it's solved. And I know what's the problem. It's hollow. The floor is so smooth. I'll have it all chip again and I'll use glue mix with a towel adhesive to make sure that it's gonna stick on that floor and on the tile so there's no hollow when you walk and i'll be there supervising it to make sure it's all leveled down with the barley bill so look and see how smooth is the beam all well vibrated this is what old bill was supervising yesterday otherwise i'll be losing my hair that they don't pour it and then how do i punish them no work for two days i had the loy chipping the coconut husk anyway there's now work that he can do this so he can cut it off small like this so he's making it smaller and then cut it in the scissors and then mulch it and i'll mix it with the uh, earth loam soil so it will aerate the loam soil so it's not so clayish or sticky it will make the root uh, more uh, loose and then it can breathe and then i'll put the straw that john atley was advising on top old lito has his tarps on while he's sifting sand for render so they're all be useful even if it's raining so that's not him, it's on the the back. I won't go out the slippery there. Look the red water going to those green one. I gotta have be careful on that one, so I'll rather stay here, but I know that old Lito will be there sitting sun under the tarp. You know there's tiles in here before that seems hollow when you walk, you know? Certain tiles are hollow, so we had Janelle taking out all the tiles and smooth it all off with tile adhesive. But that doesn't seem to work because the tile adhesive on the top are cracking. And now certain areas of the floor still feels hollow and now this is the problem. The actual tile adhesive was not taken off only the tiles and now the tile adhesive is not sticking to the floor. 
is either the floor is so dusty when they put it in before that was before we move in here or the floor the original floor is too smooth that the tall adhesive is not sticking to it so whatever will be the problem and i have three of them look at when janelle take it all off see it uh, it lifts up So I have the three of them taking this all out to make it faster and tell my husband to stay away from it. I'll solve this problem. But if you have any, like Mr. Jan Harris or the one that's um, familiar with tiling, what is the problem? What do you think will be my best solution for this? Although my thinking right now is to make it wrapper and then use glue with mixed with my tile adhesive and I do it again so to make sure that the tile adhesive sticks to the original floor so only on the corners where the actual tile adhesive is sticking on the floor but in the middle look how easy old Lito is lifting it all up step on it makes a sound Using this uh, taladis, I will grind it up as um, can be used as gravel mixed with the gravel. You know, we'll we'll crush it and mix it with the gravel. Mm -hmm. 